Sound familiar? Welcome. I want to play a game. With Hack Peaks the Player of the Year, Tyler Davis leading the way, the Vikings came out to every home game with this song, signifying that they were the ones ready to play the game. The Missouri Valley football program has set the bar high for all the teams in the future. In 2012, the Vikings focused on going 1-0 week in and week out. Vikings linebacker Demarcus Blackman put McPherson to sleep with a clutch interception late in the game. And the Vikings stop him. Rush up the middle. Snodgrass. Team chase. Boom! It is intercepted, and that could be the ball game. He threw that one low, and that ball was picked off, and the interception is by, I believe, MVC couldn't help themselves. Whenever there was an opportunity to score points, they took advantage. Linebacker Andrew Human created his own scoring opportunity against Mid American Nazarene. Oh, by one of the Vikings, and inside the 20, down to the 10, to the 5, and that is going to be Andrew a Human. Andrew, Andrew Human. what a play. Andrew knocked the pass down. It was a lateral pass. He knocked it down. After a dominating victory over their biggest division rivals, Mid-America, Valley was able to keep the momentum going, as they would go on to outscore their next few opponents, 133-30. to 30. Here's Reyes, empty back to it. Cloud really getting into it now. Bruce back to throw, swings it out of the back to it. This is complete, and Bird makes the man miss. He's to the 20, the 15, to the 10, touchdown! Oh, what a play by Jonathan Bird! And if the Vikings weren't making explosive plays through the air, they found ways to run past teams on the ground. Behind the O-line that featured multiple all-conference players, this year's team had a total of 33 rushing touchdowns, the most recorded since 2004. The Vikings as the first pass play is incomplete. The defense held the Yellow Jackets. Now let's see if the Vikings can move the ball. High snap. Here is Stewart right up the middle, and Stewart has a seam between the hash marks. He's to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and he takes it to the house touchdown. 66 wow. yards on the touchdown. Xavier Stewart, the Heart of America Offensive Player of the Week. When asked about this year's success in regards to offense, explosive plays have played a big part in this year's scoring, according to Coach Troth. We want big plays. I mean, uh, that's a thing that's momentum, you get your momentum, and, and, and uh, uh, can really break the back of your opponent a little bit if you can get that big return and flip field position and do some things like that. MVC was always a threat in the return game with Tyler Davis and LaQuentin Black receiving the kicks. And here comes the kick. And it's pretty good. And it's going to be taken by LaQuentin Black at the 20. He brings it up the left side to the 30. 35, 40! He's through to the 40! LaQuentin Black is to the 30, to the auto at 20, to the 10, no flags! Touchdown! Let Quentin Black takes it 80 yards. Can these guys come up with big plays? Oh, wow! So their opponents had to be careful because both of them had the ability to take one back to the house at any time. To his left, reverses his field back to the right. Nice move. And he turns up the sideline. Tyler's got midfield. He's got the Culver 40. The 30. Back to the middle of the field. The 20. To the 15. To the 5. He's going to take it in for an electrifying touchdown by Tyler Davis. Last season, the Vikings were able to get a share of the Hack Championship. This year's team went one step further by winning the conference outright, earning the Vikings their 18th hack title in school history. The Vikings' defense also relied on big plays during key moments, said defensive coordinator Coach Rowe. Big plays. Our secondary has made the interceptions when we needed them, you know, especially against Evangel. And that quarterback is this third and five from the 21, 14-7 Evangel. 421, first half. Bremo, all kinds of time. Throwing deep into the end zone. And that ball is intercepted by the Clinton Black in the end zone. It might have been a little push, and boy, Evangel wants yeah, that. But the Clinton Black goes up against Abe there, and he wins the battle and gets the interception. The Vikings will have it as a 20. Anytime Seth Martinko found the open field, it always seemed like Bruce Ray is connected with him for a deep strike. He lets it go for Martinko. He makes the catch at the 10, to the 5, and the young man's into the end zone. And when defenses started to show number 10 extra attention, it only opened up more opportunities for other players to score. 
Pop wants, throws it, Ballard wide open, makes the catch at the five, he's into the end zone, touchdown, the play action, brought the night defenders up toward the line of scrimmage, and Jacoby Ballard was wide open, his third touchdown of the year. In the first round of the playoffs, big players on offense, defense, and special teams proved Ottawa was no match for the speed of the Missouri Valley Vikings. He lets it go for Martinko. He makes the catch at the 10 to the 5, and the young man's into the end zone. This year's defense led the nation with 46 sacks and was number one in scoring defense, allowing just 13 points per game. In a low-scoring affair against Bethel College, big plays like the one Danny Reyes made late in the first half turned out to be key. Takes the snap, rolls that way, still looking, still looking. He throws, it's batted, and intercepted in the end zone. And the Vikings stop him again, and they... When Missouri Valley needed a big play, they always seemed to find it time and time again. Philip Fowler proved to answer the challenge on special teams when lining up against Bethel College. The ball down kick is on the way, it's blocked! The Vikings blocked this one. But once again, that oh. Viking defense turns Bethel away inside the 10. Philip Fowler. As a player on this year's team, the last play in the semifinal game is one that we will never forget. Three points separated us from going to Rome. From the left hash mark. Good snap. Ball's in the air. It's long enough. It's good. And Marion wins 20 to 17 on a 52-yard field goal. And going home. Although we didn't make it to the national championship game, the Vikings proved to be dominant in the regular season with a perfect record of 10 and 0, celebrating NBC's highest ranking in school history. As this fall season approaches, Viking coaches and players have one common goal: to finish. This is Brent Callway, and I'm Philip Fowler, KMBC Radio, 91.7 The V.